Hello everyone and welcome to the Hitchhiker's Guide to ServiceNow episode 3 and today we're calling that one create a custom flow to copy attachments for flows the ones that are speaking and I can never get the PowerPoint to work as I want my name is uh, Goran Lundqvist aka The Witch Doctor been playing around with ServiceNow for quite some while now making blogs, videos, helping out in the community Pretty much do everything in service now, everything from technical assignments to to being an architect, mentoring and, and so on. And being both on the, the light side as a customer and on the dark side now as a consultant. So today we're going to look at the community question. I'm going to pop that one up for you soon with the subject using flow designer add attachment to send email actions and by that we're going to create our own action because there isn't any functionality that actually match this one out of the box and then of course we're going to use the flow to send an email with the attachment from a specific ticket or task so let's get right back to it here we have the community question Created a custom app by Studio where they will receive weather warnings from a natural weather provider and then forward that email into relevant parties. And by the email they get, they have a PDF and they will create a task from that weather alert and they would like to send an email with that PDF as well that it has been attached to that ticket slash task. So let's take a look. Let's hit the flow designer and I'm going to use the incident uh, table since I don't have that custom table so I'll just click new flow and we call that send weather notifications just for the fun of it and in our case we will not make this active but let's make a trigger perhaps the trigger would have been when the record is being created on the incident which condition would be let's say that the short description is weather alert so whenever an uh, incident is created with that sub that short description then this thing will be triggered so the first thing we'd like to do is to send the email or put the email in the queue actually to be sent and under the service now cure we have send email and as you notice we can't really pull in attachment from the, the triggered records you don't have attachments down here anywhere or something like that so let's just pretend that they want to send that to let's just make up something to someone goran at example.com for example Ooh, weather alert and take look out the sun is coming tomorrow i guess probably not that kind of alerts but let's make it like that one so <coughs> now actually we like that one to have the attachment that exists on the incident so for doing that we need to create a new action and i have actually already done that so let's take a look at that one instead it's called copy attachment and basically i take used of the, the api of the glide attachments let me pull that one up for you so you can see that one. And we have glide, glide sys attachment. And we're going to use the copy functionality. Where we need the source table, the source sys ID. <coughs> Strange to actually saying source ID. Why don't you just call it source sys ID or something like that? and then we have the target table and the target id so four parameters if we look at mine i have made an input exactly the same source table source record 
table target table target record and you can see that we have the data here in the inputs as well then I created a script step that is very <laughs> simple from here I basically made four variables that I can use in the script and pointing them out to the input variables that the user are using to fill in this action then I actually just take these two lines to copy it where I just say copy attachment get to use the class then I use the copy and imports.s table you can see this is how we use the import variables you can see that s table is the source table and we go to import.s sysid import t table import with t sysid and we don't need any output variables here because we're just going to copy that one and make that happen so this is basically the simple one and once you have built this as a developer other people can reuse this action without really needing to know how to do the scripting and so on which is the really nice thing about the flow designer so basically we're done with email now <coughs> we will directly copy the attachment so we go to action i put mine into global i can of course put it somewhere else in another category we have the copy attachment and here you can see all the four different import tables so the first one the source table is incident the source record we have the incident record and for example let's take the sysid of the record that is triggering this flow target table is sys email or is it sys mail let me see this email yeah perfect let's and the target record that I would like to copy to is the email record that I just created here you can see email I'll just drag that one over there hit done let's save it and before we test it let me show you we go to incident.list and I know one ticket that has an attachment is this one. You can see when it's loaded. I guess it's really tired on Sunday evening. Oh, come on. There we go no url settings.png so we have an attachment in this one so let's go to the flow designer hit test let's find that incident record we're going to test with this is basically just to don't need to <coughs> go in and create activate it create an incident with that job prescription by doing this i actually say that this record meets that trigger do the rest so run test Come on. Why is it always slow when you are recording it on a video? So it's done. Let's take a look. Green completed. Everything seems to have been working. Not that one I want to look at. Stop that one. And there we go. We can see that we actually got the different variables it seems to have the correct SRDs so if this is the case the target record the email that was created should have this SRD and hopefully an attachment so let's go to mail outbox and I guess it's already been sent since I've here we go you see the subject and here you see it's been sent and we have the attachment with you and that will actually pop up as a nice attachment as well uh, just to show you <coughs> how it looks like since i tested it before i recorded it, so it wouldn't pop up this is how the email looked like when i tested it earlier you can see that you have the attachment as an attachment as well so basically to get that to work 
let's me find my mouse there we go create your action <coughs> which pretty much just uses the, the copy functionality of the attachment from the task to the mail record and the mail is sent so that's about it for that solution let me shut down the video thank you all for watching and see you another time